while the West sings about democracy, I believe they actually prefer to deal with dictators in Africa for as long as their neo-colonialist interests are served. Today, Total Energies of France is the biggest shareholder in an oil pipeline which runs from Uganda through Tanzania. So now we see that when Africa is in chaos, the West is in business. Brothers and sisters, we want a conflict-free Africa which speaks with one powerful voice that will increase the power of our just demands, including demands for reparations, for enslavement, and for colonialism. I sincerely hope that our brothers and sisters in the diaspora can follow the example of Professor Daniels. One can actually be a dedicated Pan-African while at the same time struggling for democracy and human rights in Africa. The two actually complement each other and they speed up our goal of Pan-African unity and self-determination. Finally, brothers and sisters, I want to take this opportunity at this historical event to appeal directly to all my America, African American brothers and sisters. Please, please, and please tell your governments through your elected representatives in Congress to stop sponsoring tyranny in Africa. Please tell your American government to stop sponsoring oppression in Africa. Please tell the U.S. government through your elected Congress members to stop paying for our death. The United States government currently supports the military regime of General Museveni to the tune of one billion U.S. dollars every year. This is your taxpayers' money. This is money given to a tyrant with no strings attached on the issue of democracy or human rights. You are actually paying for our oppression. You are sponsoring it knowingly or unknowingly. And we are asking you to stop it because you have the power to stop it. You can. I believe that if you reach out to your elected representatives and make this demand, you can help us change things. On behalf of the people of Uganda, those that are living and those that are dead, on behalf of the women and the young children of Uganda, on behalf of my brothers and sisters that are missing, on behalf of the people of Uganda that are languishing in prison with no trial, no charge, and no crime whatsoever, we are asking you to please help us in our struggle for freedom and democracy so that we can also be useful in the bigger struggle for liberating and unifying Africa. I thank you very much for God and our country.